Welcome back. It is week five of eight of this final training block. I was meant to start tapering this week, but that crappy run at the weekend means I am gonna have to do one last long run. So I've got breakfast before hopefully a long run and I can last a full run without any Achilles problems, without any knee problems. Finally do it a month away from the big run. Um, so this is breakfast for the morning. Jesus, that smells so sweet. I generally don't have a sweet tooth, so I am not too hopeful that I'm actually going to enjoy this. Yeah, very sweet. Oh, it's almost like energy drink. I was hoping it would be a bit fruitier, but it's just like a straight up energy drink. I think I've got like 20 of these to get through. Today, slightly more prepared for the longer run. So I've got some new shoes, Asics, which have, if you look at my other shoes, so these are my old shoes, a bit disgusting right now. So they're a much lower padding at the back, so hopefully these should give me a bit more just impact support for the just constant like pounding on your joints. Also, this has a plastic uh, bit running around the inside of your foot, running where the arch would be, whereas these ones don't. This because when I was younger, when I got these, my foot would, say this is like the inside, my foot would roll in. So this plastic support was to give it a bit more stability. So it stopped it, stopped it rolling in. But now that I'm older and my legs have developed a bit more, they no longer do that. So I don't need this anymore. And this is actually wasting energy rather than transferring energy efficiently. Although I'm not an advocate for just throwing money at an issue. I've actually got to rehab it, but I'm doing that as well. So hopefully these should work. And then I've also got a little goodie bag of stuff got some compression socks to just hopefully stabilize the ankle and just give a bit of support to the the whole structure down there and just pray it kind of helps out a little bit and then i've got i've got these funky socks that are like gloves to see if they can help with the blisters getting on my toes <laughs> these are one of the weirdest feeling things i've ever put on in my life i hate them so much and i look so stupid Okay, these might not stay on too long, but we'll see how they go, because they should help with blisters a bit. Oh, I look like such a fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm 57 minutes into this run. It has been a nice breezy one, all 57 minutes. So that's always fun. I think I've managed to run in a storm again. I think it's like 30 miles per hour winds. So that's great. I keep losing my hat. And... The headphones have just died. So, luckily, I'm on a completely empty country road. Jesus. Completely empty country road. So, I'm gonna try and listen to it out loud, but with this wind, I'm not sure I'm gonna hear anything. And I'm not sure you guys have heard any of what I've been saying, to be fair. But yeah, only, Hopefully, four more hours to go. Jesus. All right, bye. So I'm back from my run. I ran for five hours, 14 minutes and 45 seconds. And you may be wondering why I'm not just doing the usual screenshot of the Strava, why I'm not saying the distance. Well, it is because my phone died. About 30k into the run, my phone was a goner. So I had not only two hours of running in silence, but I also don't know what distance I did. Luckily, I know some landmarks, so I'm about to Google Maps it and work out what I did. And for anyone that knows me, most of my friends, probably won't be surprised about the landmarks I'm about to use to work this one out. So I'm editing the bit, showing the route I did to get me to the distance I did but it looks like absolute shit. Got back to the house at 49.7 kilometers and I basically just ran the loop of my local pub crawl, which is how I remembered the route that I took to measure it out on Google Maps afterwards. Restarting running after stopping after that much distance. It's not feeling good. My left knee has seized 
a lot. Come on! I know I've done this gag a few times already, but this one is a genuine trigger warning. It is pretty grim what you're about to see in the next clip. It's my toenail completely coming off. As you can see, the toenail is coming off off the back of the 50k. The blood blister underneath it popped on the run. A couple of days later, the whole toenail's hanging off. Lovely. Hello, buddy. Hello. Hello. One thing that did become very apparent over these few weeks, months training has been that I honestly could not have done it without... Could not have done it without all of the people around me. Uh, you know the whole saying, it takes a village to raise a kid and all that. So I just wanted to, over these next few weeks, just kind of give a shout out to different people who have help me um, throughout this time. So first one is a girl called Mel. She is someone who I met actually in September. And this was at a point where my training was horrific. I was so far behind where I should have been. And she worked so hard, put so much effort into everything she does, constantly working, whether it's in the gym, at a job, just everything she's constantly doing something constantly working hard so she was a huge inspiration for me to pull my finger out and just put some fucking effort in week five done very good week actually when i started this week i thought it was going to be an absolute stinker i thought i was going to attempt that long run and just absolutely shit to bed but completed the 50k decent time feeling confident for the run now for the 80k 85k whatever it ends up at happy with that let's see how the legs recover for the next week